friends and family as we continue to ride this wave of light here together. This is day number 27. And we're getting closer and closer to the end of this cycle, of course, and continuing to honor our connection with divinity, with our higher self, with the sages, masters, gurus, great teachers that have walked this planet, the many angels that continue to support us. You know, spirits exist on many different levels and we can connect with these different parts of ourself and these different expressions of life that we're aware of. Uh, this may include even our star family, you know, as many of us have come from different planets, even different solar systems, and remain in connection with those that we once lived with from these places. And therefore, you know, are continuing to support us here and now on this journey. Uh, so there really are like so many uh, elements of nature. And so we also have you know, the spirit of life which flows through everything around us as well here on earth, through all the animals, through the plants, the insects, the trees, the stones. There is an energy that's unique into each of these different expressions. And this energy is alive much like the life force energy that flows through us as humans. So we have the ability to be in communication as we learn to commune with these forces of life, with these forces of nature, um, with these expressions of ourself, recognizing that we all come from source and therefore uh, are not only an expression of source, but remain in connection as a part of source, as a part of creation. And so this is something that we knew long ago, you know, for tribes around the world. Um, we lived actually in communion with nature. We didn't see ourselves separate from nature or from everything that exists. We in fact knew that we were simply a part of nature, of creation, and seemingly a very small part. And so, in this lifetime, we're coming to not only recognize how powerful and grand we are as humans, as gods, as goddesses, but that we are also just specks, teeny tiny specks of this infinite universe that exists. So in our communion with spirits, with nature, with our angels, um, it's simply a matter of taking time to connect with ourselves and opening up our channel to speak with, to commune, to communicate with these forces as we are in connection with them naturally and starting to maybe reconnect with these parts and in doing so learning to communicate it's important that we may start a dialogue trusting that as we speak and learn more and more to listen that we are in fact receiving guidance and support and we may not hear it just with our ears we may not see it just with our eyes or with our mind's eye, but we may just simply receive the response deep within us as we may be clear cognizant in knowing, okay, yes. So opening up the dialogue is critical for coming to recognize that we are channels of the divinity and the more we connect with these different elements of life, the more we can see we are being guided and supported fully and completely on this journey here. 
and further releasing these ideas of being victims to our circumstances and coming to see more and more that we are, in fact, co-creators of these circumstances as life is fully meeting us where we, in our hearts, desire and need to be met in order to continue learning and growing in our process of evolution towards love more and more. So I encourage you to take time in your communion to communicate with that of your higher self, with those that have been teaching us and guiding us from the past and continue to do so here and now in spirits as angels and listening to that of which nature is constantly guiding and supporting us, showing us messages in which direction to go. So if we're unsure, we can simply ask life, show me the way and it shall be revealed to you in perfect timing, in perfect ways, as long as you're willing to listen and able to see and therefore also able to trust and to know we are one with spirits and all that exists.